Oh, I'm getting sad, he's not dead, he's nicking Len off the roof. <laughs> Come on, Grandad! Very lazy man, my Grandad. He only ever had one job. He would ring her out for a one arm window cleaner. <laughs> my Grandad's that tight. A woman went up to him once and said, Do you fancy a blow job? He said, Will it affect me doll money? But no, back to me and my father being uh, dyslexic. He used to read me bedtime stories. He used to read me Hobby Rudd. <laughs> he used to read me P Little Thricks. He used to read me Rinder Seller. Now, when you read Cinderella to your kids, or to your grandkids, or to your great great grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> you go, once upon a time, there was a little girl called Cinderella who lived with her wicked stepmother and her two ugly sisters. So, when my father been dyslexic, it stuck in there. He went, Ponce over the time, there was a little girl called Rinda Seller, who lived with her sticky wet mother and her two sugly sisters, Mary Hinge and Betty Swallows. <laughs> now, not a lot of people know this, but there used to be a third sugly lister, but she died of an STD. Her name was Chlamydia. <laughs> now the two sugly listers, the right horrible hookers to Rinda Seller, they were, every day, they'd have poor little Rinda Seller flubbing straws, weaning cleaners, and shivelling shut. <laughs> every day by half five, poor little Rinda Seller were looking fackered. Now the two sugly listers, they had tickets to go to this fancy hall, run by the Pransom Hymns. But Rinda Seller, she didn't have a ticket. Oh. And now she's getting called a whore. <laughs> but her best friend Buttons, he had a spare ticket. Yay. But he said, Rinda Seller, phone book yourself. <laughs> you wouldn't give me a Joe Blob. <laughs> Now that night, Rinder Seller was all alone crying, really upset. I want to go to the booking fall. <laughs> when all of a sudden there was a mighty loud, great big booking fan. <laughs> and Cinderella writ herself. <laughs> Don't be afraid. I'm your Gary Fun Mother. And you shall bow to the gall. And with a wave of her wagic mond, she turned a small pumpkin into a cooking fuel challenge. <laughs> Muck free, said Rinda Seller. It's a mucking fericle. The game up for the said, Rinda Seller, you must be back by midnight or I'll fix your cooking heading. <laughs> Rinda Seller arrived at the ball around 7.30. She started dancing with the Pransom Hymns. He was a fat smeller. <laughs> They announced all died. He tried his best chat up line. Can I smell your family? <laughs> she says, no, you can't. He said, it must be your feet then. <laughs> then he said, shancy a fag. And just before Rinda Seller could answer, the clock struck dim night. And she went running out of the ball so fast, she tripped and fell bass over Ollocks. <laughs> Dropping a slash glipper. Everybody pointed and laughed at Rinder Seller shouting, Hey, you cook a right lunt! <laughs> but the Pransom Hint shouted, Boom cat! Boom cat! Baby boom cat! <laughs> she didn't even give me a blo. A <laughs> she didn't even give me a jaw blob. She did not duck my sick. She did not cook my sock. She did not walk my silly. Anymore? And I said, looking down, he spotted the slash glipper. Picking it up, he said, Primark. She must be from Avercroft. Whoever this flipper sits, I'm going to brag her shades out and we will be married. The next day, he woke up, he left his house, 
He went to the neighbour on the left. He didn't bother with the neighbour on the right because that's Heather McCartney's house. And if you don't know who she is, we haven't got time to explain. <laughs> he got up to his neighbour on the left door and he docked on the door. Mary Hinge answered the door. She says, fuck the what do you want? <laughs> she said, have you come to who took my six? He said, oh no. <laughs> Let's skip this bit, shall we? I'm doing it for a while. He said, have I hope? I'll do it. I've come to try this last slipper on your foot. If it fits, we will be married. She put her foot into the slash slipper, but it fitn't it. And the prancer he said, thank fuck for that. <laughs> Over in the corner he spotted Betty Swallows. She says, Fuck the what do you want? Have you come to fake my lanny? He said, No. I come to try this slash clipper on your foot. If it fits, we will be married. She put her foot into the slash clipper, and again, it thinned it. But she didn't give in. She tried pushing, but she pushed too hard and let out this thick bat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that stuck in thing, said the prancing woman. <laughs> Over in the corner, he spotted Rinder Seller, flubbing scrolls, winning cleanse, and chiveling shut. He said, Can I please try this slash clipper on your foot? For if it fits, we will be married. Rinder Seller put her foot into the slash clipper. And it fitted pucking perfectly. The prancer means was overjoyed because he was shot again a gag. He dragged Rinder Seller upstairs by the hand, threw her on the bed, and got ready to book her friends out. He said, Rinder Seller, I've got a packet of clavered fondos. Turn out the light and duck my sick. She turned out the light and started to cook his sock. Oh. Oh, I don't like that flavour. Is it cheese and onion? He says, no, I haven't put one on yet. <laughs> then he started to make sweet, passionate love to Rinder Seller. <clears throat> and after about three and a half hours, like me, she screamed out, Funk in my space, you Bertie dastard. Sorry, sorry. Unfortunately, he didn't pull out in time, and Rinder Seller fell pregnant. Nine months later, when Rinder Seller was in labour, the pronto hints with his friends getting pistas. Oh no! Fist, fisters apart, listers appeared, kisters apart. When he received the phone call, he was straight to hospital. On arrival, a doctor spotted him and said, "Me, yeah, hey." He said, you what? Wait <laughs> a minute. I said, ring the cellars in there, she's just given birth to seven babies. Now, in order for a woman to give birth to five or more babies, and she just had seven, the father must be very well stacked. He says, well, mine, it's like a chimney stack. He said, well, you might want to go home and have it swept because they're all black. <laughs> uh, thank you for the clap. It's not really getting on that, is it? <laughs> and even though Rinder Seller spent the rest of her life with this extremely fallen swanny, they still lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you. I'm not sure that much becoming fashionable, eh?